Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 37 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about anonymous functions or lambda functions. In our past videos, we have already discussed about what is functions. So if you haven't watched that video, please watch that video. Or else, let me quickly give a recap of what is function is. If you remember, whenever we want to create a function in Python, we used to, we used to use this diff keyword and then we need to give a name for our function. Okay. And then if there is any arguments or parameters which you want to supply for that function, you need to pass them. Okay, so let's assume I want to pass the argument n here or parameter n here. And what I want to do is I want to return n multi multiplied by n. Okay, this is what I want to return. So this is how you, we used to create functions, right? If you closely observe here, this function has a name to it and it has a proper code everything, right? And once we create a function like this, what usually we used to do, we can call that function like this, right? By using the function name. And then for the argument, I can pass any value. For example, let's assume I supply value 2 into argument n. And let me save these changes. And then whatever the output here we are going to get, let's try to print that here. Okay. So now let's try to run this code and see whether this function will execute or not. See here, we got output 4. That means our function is executing successfully. So what you need to observe here is every function, whenever you create, it will have a name to it what if if your function don't have any name is it possible to create a functions without name then answer is yes in python you can create functions without name as well so those functions are called as anonymous functions or lambda functions okay so how to create them if you see here uh, th there are certain rules to create a, a anonymous functions okay or lambda functions first thing is you need to use this lambda keyword here when you are trying to create that lambda function or anonymous function and then all your arguments should be mentioned here after one space for example here it this function is taking only one argument then colon and it should contain the expression what you want to perform as part of that function so you can keep only one expression actually you cannot use multiple expressions in the lambda functions or anonymous functions so but the arguments count can be increased you can use multiple arguments also if you see here i am here i am using two arguments that means whenever i try to call this fun anonymous function I need to supply value for these two arguments a and b but here in this case i need to pass value for only one argument okay so let's practically show you this lambda function creation and uh, execution so let me go here so what i will do here or uh, let me remove this i will create a lambda function for the same uh, task what you are doing with this normal function here so to do that what i need to do i need to use a lambda keyword then space arguments for example if you see here my function is taking only one argument right the same arguments we can pass in the lambda function also like this so maybe n is my argument okay and then colon then expression what you want to perform as part of that function execution so I, what i want to perform i want to perform uh, n multiplication by n so this is what i want to perform now this is a lambda function or anonymous function without name now how i can call this function to run so whenever you should you want to call any function you should give one name to it right so here also what you can do uh, in python uh, functions are nothing but like objects only so you can store all this entire function all this entire lambda function as one variable and if, and whatever the variable name you use with that name you can call it let me practically show you this so let's assume i store this into maybe like my function one so this is the variable in which i am storing this lambda functions once you do that after that what you can do what you can do is you can call that function very easily with that variable name then so if you see see intelligence is automatically observing it's, it has a lambda function in it and that lambda function is expecting one variable to pass right so i am supplying value here three maybe okay now let's try to print the output whatever we are getting here so let's see the print statement here and uh, let me execute this code and see what will happen if you see i got output nine why because three supplied two lambda functions into argument and uh, as per the expression 3 multiplied by 3 it is going to return value as 9 so that's what it happened so like this you can call the lambda functions and you can create the lambda functions so what if, if i want to uh, have multiple uh, variables or multiple arguments in the lambda function you can do that so let's assume i i want to have another variable or another argument here called m maybe so you can do that so all the list of variables or uh, arguments what you want to mention inside that anonymous function you should keep them here with the comma separated and then in the expression whatever you want to do you you can do it so maybe now what i want to do i want to perform some between n and m arguments so let me save these changes now here if you see here 
for my function when i see the intelligence it is asking me directly like supply two arguments here n and m so let me supply like two comma three maybe so let's save these changes as you are expecting the output is going to be five this time so let me save these changes and now let me execute this python file see we got it so lambda functions like very small functions which can contain multiple arguments but only one expression you cannot use multiple expression here okay let's go back to our presentation here the power of so you might be thinking what is the use of this lambda function first thing is uh, let's assume whenever you you are going to have only one expression in the function at that and, uh, and you feel that you no need to use that function many times maybe the usage of the function is very limited in that cases it is better to go with the lambda functions because you are not eating a lot of space and no need of lot of code very simple code you can write and you can create an anonymous function on top of it and you, you can easily call that by storing that function into one variable and then calling it with that variable name okay and the actual power or the actual benefit of this lambda function you will make sense uh, when you use them actually inside of another functions okay so for this example demonstration i am going to explain this example but our in our future videos there are some functions called a uh, filter map and all in python so when i am explaining examples there at that time you will get more clarity or more usage of this lambda functions so but let's try to create our own function and inside that function let's try to create a lambda function and let's try to make use of it and let's see how it is going to helpful here so here let me do one thing so let me remove all this code let me create a new function maybe this is called my function okay and for this function i am using argument n here okay and then this function is simply going to return another function okay so i am using lambda function inside function and this main function is going to return lambda function as output so how to create a lambda function you need to use this lambda keyword and then arguments maybe let's assume x is my argument and then i want to multiply this x argument with the input argument of the main function so let's assume this is what i want to do so let me save these changes now uh, let's assume uh, let let's see if i call this main function by using that function name and if i supply value to 2 there let's assume what will happen if you closely observe this 2 will go into this uh, uh, argument of the main function and then it is going to return this lambda function and when it is when it is returning the lambda function how it will return it will return, it will return something like this so i am using a comments here you if you have seen my previous videos you know how to use the comments right so here in place of n it is going to uh, keep this uh, value 2 here put the value to here and this this is what the actual function it is going to return so when i execute this code it is going to return this lambda function okay and uh, if i execute let's assume if i do the same thing like this my function of 3 okay then if i execute this code then that code is going to return something like this so let me copy this here and let me paste it here so it is going to return like this why because this 3 value goes into the argument n and uh, that's what i placed it here and this lambda function will be returned so now what happens now the same function is going to act in two different ways so this uh, this uh, line of code what it what it is returning this lambda function let's assume i will store that into one variable called my doubler okay why because it is going to double the number okay and then this function call i am going to save into a variable called maybe my tripler okay because my number is going to be triple right so if i if i supply the lambda value as 5 here then 5 multiplied by 2 5 becomes double if i supply uh, lambda uh, lambda argument as 5 here in this case then it is going to be multiplied by 3 so it is going to be tripler the number so once i store this lambda functions into these variables like this what i can do let's try to print this print my doubler to the doubler so what is this my doubler will contain it will contain this lambda function right and to the, the lambda function into this x variable or into that x argument i am supplying value 5 maybe so let me save this and then let me copy this uh, print statement again and here this time let's try to use this my tripler and to to my tripler lambda function i am passing value 5 again here now let's save these changes now let's execute this python file and if you see the results okay so there is some error why because i have extra uh, uh, bracket here let me remove that let me save the changes let me clear this console and let me rerun this demo.python file see my doubler printed value as 10 my tripler printed value as 15 so the magic is happening because the main function 
contains lambda function and it is returning that lambda function as an output and that is the reason according to my own need i am tweaking this uh, main function and supplying the value according to my own need and making use you use that main function into multiple ways right so maybe this is little confusing at this moment uh, you can watch this video multiple times if you are not clear but again as i said the main uh, usage of this lambda functions you will make sense uh, when i try to explain map functions filter functions there are some functions in the python so stay tuned we are going to discuss more uh, practical scenarios of lambda in our upcoming videos so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much